lava tour, the lava snail. I recently learned that volcano snails exist. Their shells are made of iron and they live around hydrothermal vents that can reach up to 750 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, dude, the amount of life that can live where life should not exist is just so god dang cool. You know what I mean? Like, th there could be life anywhere and we'd never know because it can take so many different shapes. Uh, simultaneously, I love her black dress, she looks beautiful, and also, um, this is definitely a boss in Dark Souls. L like, we, we, y'all remember the lava spider from Demon Souls? Yeah, this, but you can't attack its back. Hello everybody and welcome to Calibus! My name is Lumo and today we are looking at r slash boss fights, a personal favorite of mine and honestly, it's just a fun subreddit. It's dedicated to images of things, people, creatures, etc. that look like they belong in an RPG or some other kind of game as a very, very difficult boss fight. Let's just get right into it. My cat came home wearing an armadillo shell. Apparently my cat parties harder than I do. Yeah, or your cat hollowed out the animal. What is the boss named? Oh, Armadillo Cat, patron of the party animals. That is actually kind of a metal title. I'm not gonna, that cat has some drip. Not, not gonna lie. Also, a uh, man. That cat probably killed and hollowed out that shell, which is metal to think about, or it just found it. You never know. Gugul, the eater of ram, deals one damage per bite of ram. Primary attack, asking for ram. Secondary attack, fighting you over ram. Give me a freaking ram. Stay away, you goddamn demon. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Me, but with my data. <laughs> Man, I, look, I have very few opinions on this, but I think Snapchat art is an unspoken and unrecognized genre of art that we need to have in museums. Cause I love this. It's so stupid, but I love it. Everything about it is just chef's kiss. Fruit of the loom, the best rap duo in the business. Reporter wears a grape costume to defend a boy suspended for banana suit. Real. Recognizes real. Now, first of all, we need to address if it, it is actually a banana hammock if this child sleeps in a hammock. But second, I... Every time I see this image, this has been around since I was like 12. Every time I see this image, it fills me with joy. Like, there's just so much pure energy, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like a spirit bomb of love, and I love that. I love that. Oh, wellness geese! Because peace was never an option. From Bentshire University. We've introduced wellness geese to the campus to help students de-stress during the exam period. Ha! Oh. <laughs> ha! Oh. Man, I don't know why geese are so evil, but something about the goose is like Manus the primordial evil, you know what I mean? Like, first of all, I hate horde bosses, so automatically I already hate the wellness geese. Like, I don't want to fight the Geese Authority. Let me fight, like, Balthalgore, the honking one. But second, why would you introduce this to campuses? I mean, I know it's a jape, but why? Audrex, a mighty destroller of the unwholesome? Oh, God, that's terrifying. That's a nightmare. That's also, I would say, that is 100% a Dragon Quest boss. That's where, that's where I'm putting it. That's where I'm dropping this one. It goes to Dragon Quest. Maybe in the new remake. Maybe in 12. 12 is more mature and that face looks like it's bleeding. Man. That's, I love Poke Fusions. I love the artists who do Poke Fusions. If you do artists Poke Fusion stuff, like if you draw them or in some way render them out, hit me up on Twitter. I, I love seeing these. Leroy Jenkins, confident for a reason. I got this! Star Wars, The Rise of Leroy Jenkins. A Star Wars story, TM. I would watch this. It, it's well documented on this channel, I'm not the biggest fan of Star Wars. I, I like the spinoff content, like I enjoyed Rogue One. I would watch the hell out of this. It's, it's stupid, yes, it's very stupid, but like... As, as I've aged, I've come to enjoy um, the, the, the less thinky content. Me want funny haha in my busy day, and man. I can only expect good things out of Leroy Jenkins, confident for a reason. Man, did, did Blizz ever turn him into like an actual boss fight? Because if they didn't, they should. He just roams the raid from start to finish and just ambushes the entire party. Dies almost immediately, but I want to see him there. 
El Fumador, a viscerator of lungs. <laughs> Dang it, now we got anti-vape ads in front of this video. Man, that is... I mean, I guess it's better than all of those, like, empty cartons going into the, uh... Going into a landfill, but, like, why do you have so many cigarette boxes? Like, what is... Why were you hoarding them? And why are they in such a good and the pristine condition? There's a lot of questions that I have about the formation of this costume and how it even came to be, but also his attacks. Are we going to be dealing with a Fume Knight situation? Or is it going to be like a Noxious Dragon kind of deal, which just AoEs everywhere? Like, what... What are we dealing with here? Is it gonna be a multi-stage thing where it's against El Fumador and like his smoke cloud? Or is it gonna be something else where the smoke cloud is just an attack and it's not a conscious entity on the battlefield? I need answers, frankly. I demand them. Baphomi, son of Baphomet, demon prince of awe. That is uncanny. That is giving me a fear debuff just looking at it. Something about it just is not it doesn't. It doesn't feel. It does not feel. It is unsettling. I do not like it, but I love it, and I want to pet its little head. I, it, it... Look, it fires brimstone lasers, okay? It, it, it's a Binding of Isaac boss. That's where I'm putting it. I am putting it in the Binding of Isaac. That's where it feels the most at home. That game has the most satanic themes, so I feel like it'll fit right in there alongside Satan, Mega Satan, Little Satan, somewhat Satan, and kind of Satan. You know, the Satans. Harry Potter! Torso-less devourer of legs, walker of sticks. So my four-year-old nephew asked me to drop Harry Potter, and then he excitedly shouted, I'll do the legs! Oh, Daniel Radcliffe has seen better days. He used to be a full man with a torso, full-on legs, arms, hands, a horse. And now what is he? A Kirby cosplayer. Simply a head and legs, and nothing more. The ears will stand in for the arms, but he can't move them, as our good friend Kerbo can. Please, pray for Daniel Radcliffe. He lost 80% of his body mass. The Subway Troopers! Protectors of the Divine Railroad! There is a stay- Mmm. Mmm. That's a lot of 40k. That's at least 40-40k. Oh, I mean, it looks like there's like 7. But, I'm going to say this 40. Was there a con? There, ha there has to have been a con. I'm not sure if Warhammer has its own con, but if like 40k has its own convention, that's where we're going. That doesn't look like Fantasy Yama, that doesn't look like Salt Spire in the slightest, that looks like straight up 40k. And you know what? I'm here for the Legion. I am here for the Legion. Oh, apparently that's actually a company regimen, Sisters of Battle. I don't know these things. I've got friends who are in 40k. I'm not. I can, I can only handle like maybe 1k. Maybe two on a good day. 40? Too much. Too much for me. Dr. the Doofenshmirtz, destroyer of all perverts. Hey, Suida, how you like to ride on a real bike? She's 16! <laughs> I... <laughs> Look, I'm not saying that Dr. Doofenshmirtz is the voice of a generation, but this man would fix Twitter. This man would fix Twitter. <laughs> That's the post. That's where I'm leaving it. <laughs> Papa bless Doofenshmirtz. I... He's such a... I love his character. Dr. Zoo, Lord of Basketballs, the last wise. In order to catch the ball, one must become the ball. Dog Zoo. <laughs> okay, now, first of all, just because it's Dog Zoo, this has to be a Dynasty Warriors boss fight. That's what I'm saying. That, that ball probably comes off for phase two. Takes more damage, but does more damage. You've put Dog Zoo in a Berserker state. Um, simultaneously though, this also looks like a Final Fantasy XIV mount. One of the free ones, not the $30 Mog Station ones, but man. Man. Also, someone in the comments is doing the Meet the Soldier speech from TF2 where he goes, Sun Tzu said that. For years I thought Soldier shouted, Sons who said that? I thought he was asking if someone spoke. I thought he was just deranged and talking to heads, which he is. So I thought that made sense, but no, he said Sun Tzu said that, not Sons who said that. Like, like this post, if you also thought that Soldier said Sons who said that, not Sun Tzu said that. Am I, am I speaking absolute incoherent nonsense? Yes, we're moving on. Bees! Enjoyers of jazz and masters of disguise. Fun fact, bees like flowers, which means if you give a girl flowers and she likes them, she's a bunch of bees in disguise. 
Nice try, bee swarm. You're dumped. Are you passing up a lifetime of free honey and fuzzy affection? Because if so, you're passing up on glory and a wonderful career as a beekeeper. Honestly. <laughs> Man. I got nothing to add to this post besides the fact that my roommate and I excitedly shout bee syrup every time we get honey for tea. And I just wanted to make you guys a part of that. Please, if you see honey, loudly shout bee syrup at it. It'll manifest. <laughs> what will it manifest? Well, that's the secret. You'll have to find out. <laughs> Nyogen, the great defender! Confused pigeon spotted a guarding box of Cadbury chocolate eggs at Tesco. Oh my god, they weren't kidding. The pigeons at the park are free. You really can just pick up a pigeon and walk away with it. I guess these people didn't want this one and they just put it back on the shelf. But man, what a confused, weird pigeon. But yet, it defends. It has strength beyond measure. Strong enough to get a news article about its antics. This, this sky rat, it has power. It has power. We should aspire to be more like it. And that's all the time we have here today on Calvis. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, maybe share with a friend who could use some inspiration for their next RPG and or tabletop night. Bosses are hard to come up with. You got some good options for templates here. If you do want more r slash boss fights, there'll be another one popping up in just a couple of seconds. But until then, my name has been Lumo, and I hope to see you in the very next Calvis video. Have a great rest of your day.